Most video games have a conventional collection of cheats that will grant players wonderful, yet predictable, perks such as unlimited health, bottomless clips, and so on. Sometimes developers decide to take it a step further and implement the silliest of cheats, whether they turn all logic and reason on its head, or make a few humorous tweaks to the game to make you giggle. These are 10 surreal video game cheats you must try. Raiding tombs for treasures and fighting bloodthirsty creatures you thought were extinct are both daunting tasks, but Lara Croft can pull both of these off by using her two greatest skills – gymnastic bravado and shooting stuff without missing. Tomb Raider 2 can be a tricky game at times. If you ever feel like the only way out is via the most over-exaggerated and completely unexpected death imaginable, then this cheat is for you. Draw your pistols, take one step backwards and forwards, crouch, stand, turn around thrice, and top it off with a jump. Lara's head, limbs, and other body parts will betray logic by flying into all directions, exploding on impact. Aside from ending the game in the flashiest way possible, there aren't any real upsides to this cheat, aside from freaking out the person next to you. This game was designed for electronica-loving adult gamers. Each entry in the series is packed with tense top-speed races and upbeat tracks from British artists like The Chemical Brothers, Fluke, Cold Storage, and more. Unique to the second game of the series, however, is a special cheat code with an unexpected effect on your racing ships. When the game has reached the loading screen, hold down the L1, R2, Start, and Select buttons. When the menu appears, let go of them. When you go to choose your ships, You'll notice that they now look like a pig, a shark, a snail, and even a small alien cosily sitting inside a small UFO. Sure, they may not all be animals, but it was commonly referred to as the Animal Ships Cheat in games magazines and cheat code booklets back in the day. For the race of a lifetime, settle for nothing less. After the release of the fourth entry in the Call of Duty series in 2007, every first-person shooter tried to follow in its footsteps, with mixed results. Linear levels, a heavy emphasis on plot, frequent scripted events, dozens of samey assault rifles and SMGs. You have this game to thank for those recurring tropes. Throughout the campaign, you will stumble across intelligence, i.e. laptops containing military secrets. These are the collectibles of the game. If you collect eight of them, you will unlock a cheat called Ragtime Warfare. Upon activation, everything will turn yellow, and the screen will be covered in scratches and dust. The game will then run at double speed, and all sounds will be muted. It will resemble an old early 20th century film. Accompanying the gameplay is a jaunty, upbeat tune played on the piano. This one is best used in tense chases like in the final level. The rapid increase in speed combined with the quirky music will lighten up any otherwise dangerous scenario. It's all about the money in the iconic real-time strategy series Command & Conquer. Building bases, constructing choppers, shopping for soldiers, war isn't cheap. While the Soviets love to plow their way through enemy territory with big tanks and flesh-melting Tesla technology, the Allies prefer brains over brawn with time-shifting vehicles and devious spies. Again, these things are not cheap. To afford such advanced technology, players need to send forth and defend their harvester trucks. While unarmed, they're vital to the game, holding towards the nearest ore field to collect and smelt valuable minerals for lots of money. While PC gamers frown upon most console ports of their favourite games, the PlayStation port of Command & Conquer Red Alert did bring a few nifty goodies with it. The console exclusive cheats had to be activated with the four button patterns located in the sidebar. Two of said cheats will transform the ore into completely different substances. The first turns it all into thousands of pints of beer. Upon activation, the game splurges out the message, Pat sucks, don't drink and play Red Alert. Whereas, Soil in Green mode will replace the valuable stuff with humans in brightly coloured shirts. After getting harvested, they will yelp in pain. Gruesome. In the world of Hitman, stealth is key. The killer clone known only as 47 must do whatever he can to eliminate his target, such as stealing disguises and staging accidents. Getting the job done cleanly and professionally is none too easy, but incredibly satisfying when all the pieces fit. Alternatively, you can always blast everyone with a shotgun and let God sort them out instead. Warning: This method makes you look like an absolutely rubbish assassin and will likely get you killed as a result. 
should committing mass murder still sound appealing, a special melee weapon hidden in the third game's files might be of use to you. It's accessible only via developer mode cheats and the PC port of Hitman Contracts. Punch in the code IOI Penny in game, and an ominous message will appear. A long cardboard tube capable of eliminating enemies with a single swing will then be yours to use. The weapon and message are both references to the online video game comic series Penny Arcade, which included a tale about a tube wielding samurai entitled The Wandering Age. According to this historical real time strategy game, primitive civilizations from eons ago progressed and evolved through time thanks to discovery, commerce, and fighting alongside a shotgun wielding baby on a tricycle. The history books were a lie. All this time, you must have believed that constructing shelters, then hoarding gold and food, helped men and women of ancient time through the Stone Age and beyond. Thanks to the game's special summon sheets, you can unleash some deadly warriors, including a laser-firing soldier, a nuke-launching trooper, and even a rocket-launcher-toting sports car. As expected, these in-game troops are overpowered and very tough to kill. Even more so, after defeating the shotgun-waving infant, it'll fall off its tricycle and cry throughout the level as a result. Your punishment for letting such a powerful member of your tribe get defeated. Set in a world of vice and corruption, Grand Theft Auto lets players give logic and the law the middle finger as they steal cars, rob banks, and perforate any poor soul they stumble across in this virtual sandbox. Speaking of corruption, the first fully 3D entry in the series, Grand Theft Auto 3, had a cheat that could not be turned off if you saved your game while it was active. The pedestrian riot cheat arms every civilian on the streets of Liberty City with weapons, from baseball bats to flamethrowers. As you set off deeper into the world, you'll be mercilessly run over or gunned down by swarms of ticked off members of the general public, a common occurrence in places like California. No matter how many times games magazines and cheat booklets warn players to never, ever save their game with the cheat implemented, a few poor souls still made that very same mistake. Completing the campaign with this one drastically beefing up the difficulty is near impossible. Even driving around town without dying is a pretty tricky challenge in itself. Again, like California. Ever wanted to turn the daring and exciting adventures of British super spy James Bond into a music video, a la Take On Me by Ha? You know, the one with the 80s woman who falls into a comic and then she meets a hand-drawn man and anyway. This iconic shooter may have popularized the big heads cheat, but no one seems to remember this wacky inclusion, probably because, unlike the latter, it just made the game tougher to play. Line mode turns every texture white. Walls, weapons, enemies, they're all colorless. The only way to distinguish these things are by their thin black outlines. It's not practical by any means, but it's a pretty fine example of whitewashing in movies, or games based on movies before it was a thing. While traveling through time to stop aliens from destroying the human race may sound like a deathly serious idea for a game, the cult classic Time Splitter series is anything but. After all, it's one of the few games that will let you fight zombies, robots, and monkeys in a 1960s disco. The surrealness does not stop there. Accompanying a plethora of unlockable cheats is Cascade Mode. By title alone, it says very little. Everything in the game will be coloured green, and coated with a series of random numbers scrolling in various directions, like something out of the Matrix. Much like line mode in GoldenEye 64, there are no practical uses for this cheat. It's just an unexpected way to mix up your deathmatches or story mode by making it more difficult to distinguish targets. All you'll see is a green blur with a swarm of digits crawling over them. So what do the numbers mean, Cortez? Duke Nukem 3D's addictive gameplay and interactive urban-themed levels weren't the only reasons why the game's still praised as one of the greatest shooters since Doom. It had attitude and personality thanks to its pop culture reference-ridden, tongue-in-cheek sense of humor topped off with cheesy one-liners. Every no-named company wanted to capitalize on its success. Some released official map packs with permission from Duke's creators 3D Realms. Others sold unauthorized shovelware packs, stuffing as many poor quality fan-made maps downloaded from the internet onto a disc while advertising them as exciting custom-made missions. 
The authorised third-party expansion, Duke Extreme, not only packed in 50 new levels, it also came with modding tools that would let you cheat to your heart's content if you so wished. For starters, you can modify the stats of the game to make weapons, enemies, and Duke himself considerably stronger or weaker. If you want to be able to carry more or less ammo, you can. On top of that are some very unique cheats. With a click of a button, you could make enemies self-destruct in death, or resurrect his blue translucent ghosts with a vengeance, shoot them until they fly to the ceiling and explode, spray chunks of gore each time someone's damaged, or just make the aliens drop ungodly amounts of fecal matter out of fear. And those are just some of the crazy things you can do with Duke Extreme. With a plethora of highly customizable options via modding tools, and a large number of preset cheats that will add many unexpected twists to your game, Duke Extreme undoubtedly lives up to its name. For more top lists just like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and don't forget to check out our other top lists. Thank you very much for watching, and thanks for learning.